Friends, this is SICS with 6 mm main incision. Conjunctival peritomy is being done. First conjunctiva is incised, tenons is exposed, a nick is made in the tenons, dissection is carried out, and peritomy is done for about 2 clock hours from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock and now mild weight field cautery is done very minimal cautery is done there should not be any contraction of sclera and the blood vessel which is piercing the sclera and going inside the eye is not destroyed And now, incision. A 15 number bird perker blade is taken and the incision is placed from 1 o'clock to 11 o'clock and this is a frown incision. And now, this is a crescent blade. The dissection must be carried out at a certain depth, almost half thickness of sclera. go at the middle anteriorly into clear cornea and then sweep backward and to the left. Thus the tunnel on the left side is made. And now the tunnel on the right side sweeping backward and to the right. And a very a nice tunnel with good corneal valve is made. And now capsulorexis is to be done. This is a side port of about 1.8 millimeter. And now with the help of a 26 case bent needle cystitome the rexis will be done and the chamber has been filled up with 2% SPMC and here is the cystitome a flap is raised a capsular tag is raised and this tag is guided all around to do a continuous curvilinear capsular axis. Size of this axis is about 5.5 to 6 millimeter. In SICS, if the cataract, if the nucleus is hard, axis should be large. If the nucleus is soft, it can be small. The tunnel has been opened and now hydro dissection is done. This is hydro dissection. Fluid wave is passed from the right side and on equator has prolapsed out of the capsular bag. When on equator prolapses out of the capsular bag, then it is easy to prolapse the nucleus into the anterior chamber. Visco is injected into the anterior chamber and the nucleus is rotated. In this case, it has been rotated anticlockwise. Sometimes you 
both ways clockwise as well as anticlockwise to prolapse the nucleus out of the capsular bag. Visco is injected both in front and behind the lens mass to protect the cornea as well as to place the posterior capsule far behind. And now this is irrigating vectors. It goes and brings the lens out. And now there is lot of epinucleus in the anterior chamber. I am irrigating some BSS and let us see if this epinucleus comes out or not. Yes, a big chunk of epinucleus has come out. And now let us see if we can remove this with a Simco. Just depressing the posterior leaf of the main wound. But it didn't come out. When it doesn't come out, then there is a sure shot. What you do is inject Visco through the side port at 6 o'clock and then some Visco on either side of this mass, lens mass, epinucleus and then just depress the posterior leaf and this comes out. We can call it visco expression of epinucleus. And now cortex is remaining. We can easily clean this cortex by a Simco cannula. This is a 23 gauge Simco. Most of the cortex from inferior aspect has been removed and now going through the side port we can remove the cortex from the upper part. Yes, the cortex has been removed very nicely. And now uh, an intraocular lens is to be placed in the capsular bag. In this case, we have selected a PMMA intraocular lens. Fill up the bag and the anterior chamber with visco. And then take the lens, PMMA lens. Nicely wash the lens. This is a rigid lens and hold the lens with a Macpherson's forceps. Place the trailing haptic in the bag. Hold the trailing haptic with the Macpherson's now and place the trailing haptic in the bag. This is a 6 millimeter optic PMMA intraocular lens from Appasami Associates. It's a beautiful lens. I have never seen opacification of this lens in my practice of 25 years. I have no financial interest, just appreciating a good product. And now, the visco that is there in the anterior chamber as well as in the capsular bag is flushed out. First, visco from anterior chamber is removed then I go behind the lens, it is not difficult. Just go behind the lens and irrigate the bag so that visco from bag comes out. A thorough cleaning of visco is very much essential to prevent post-off rise of intraocular pressure. So give some quality time at this at this moment. Never hurry up while you clean the visco. Otherwise, you learn to implant the lens under irrigation. And now, some amount of moxifloxacin is injected into the anterior chamber and then the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. Now, I always do a final 
anterior chamber lavage with BSAs and form the anterior chamber nicely by BSAs before concluding the surgery. Here it is. This is the final lavage and I place the Simcoe at the main wound in this way and form the anterior chamber very nicely. And now the conjunctiva is reposited and it is placed at its original site by a suture. I never use cautery because cautery uses heat and destroys lot of cells and many times it doesn't hold so the conjunctiva may retract even if you use cautery. I have used a subconjunctival gentamicin and dexamethasin. It has reposited the conjunctiva to some extent. And now I am placing this releasable suture at the radial cart at the right end of the wound. And the conjunctiva is very nicely placed to the limbus. And then the superior tus bridal suture is removed and the case is concluded. This surgery is meant for residents and colleagues who want to learn SICS. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.